Well, Kev, I'll give you a quick rundown. We'll start at the top with war. Keith, these are definitely not pumpkins. Maybe we can make a wall disappear. He goes behind it. Where'd Jimmy go? Who knows? My case, I'm just happy to be on the air for a minute without getting kicked out. <laughs> well, some of the uh, moments that have <laughs> punctuated the last eight years of Kevin Burkhart's uh, trip around the National League and around Major League Baseball for us, and we're so happy to that you can share a few moments with us on your well, your last night at City Field. Yeah. That's strange. It's it's weird. It's really really weird. Um, I I don't know why people uh, you know I, I don't it's weird to have the affection. It's I'm not I'm not yeah. allowed to handle it. You know, it's very <laughs> it's amazingly sweet like that. People making signs and saying thank you and it's 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 great is what it is. It's really nice. Well, we thought it would be appropriate as Darno makes a diving grab. Beautiful play. Uh, the butt attempt by Echeverria for the first down. Great athleticism here by Travis Darno with the leap and the dive. I thought this was going to hit the fingers of Echeverria for a second. Darno mask off. That's a uh, that's a cover shot somewhere. So we thought Kevin would be appropriate to you know, maybe take it down memory lane a little bit. And um, do you remember your first? On air moment back when in 07 when you began. I do. This was it. This was uh, because the Cardinals won the World Series, and I thought literally the entire offseason what to do for the first six. I didn't want to screw it up, <laughs> and so uh, I did a hit on uh, something about the World Series ring. I think. <laughs> By the way, you haven't aged a day since then. You look like it had bad hair back then, though. No, good, good hair. It was all right. You look a little cold. I, I agree, Kev. <laughs> 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 it's a last generation oh, SNY coat, so uh, you can tell that it's. No, it's still the first generation, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you got the same darn coat. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I, I remember that because, um, and it was weird because uh, wasn't that game on um, on another network? It was on ESPN. The start of the year. Sunday night, right? So you're, you're sitting there, and I was uh, uh, just anticipating. Yeah, you're just anticipating. You know, so nervous to kind of get started, and we did spring training, so it was we had that, which was cool. I mean, I got to know you guys, but you know, it's funny. You haven't really ever really been nervous I would say but like there's so much anticipation to that first one like the new guy Gary let's throw it down at Kevin I'm like ah, if I screw this up I'm going back to the minors you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, so yeah I, I do remember that and uh, and we were off and running I know that game I think that game was not pretty either if I remember correctly and uh, even had the uh, the World Series ring on your finger. Who, there you whose go. ring was that uh, that you got? Well, it wasn't the best choice of rings, but Jeff Supon, <laughs> the Mets well, fans just oh. love. But he wasn't. Uh, I think he was hurt at the start, so his ring was available. Now, Kev, did you have to do an audition in front of uh, Mr. Gowdy for the for the job? You know, I I I, I had been doing some stuff with um, with the Jets because I covered the Jets for WFAN, so. Uh, Kurt had me on to do some uh, fill in TV stuff on the jet shows and that's how I kind of got in. And when I interviewed. Darno with another grab for the second half. You know I went in and, and to be honest I didn't even think twice about it. I didn't think like I was going in like oh I got a chance for this job. I was like oh this is great I'll go talk and, um, and. And we had a great conversation that I didn't think anything else of it. And then two months later, my agent called right before Christmas and said, hey, um, you know, so, so you got the Met job. I'm like, what, what Met job exactly? You mean the one I, I interviewed with for two months ago? <laughs> uh, so and then away we went. You know, I kind of had to um, breathe that one in for a while. I, and uh, it, was, it was off to something special. It was the start of something for me. It was pretty great. Now, from that first season, the, the moment that I remember more than <laughs> is this one. I remember this. The kayak in McCovey Cove. How, how did that ever come about? That was, um, I, I remember this specifically, and I still joke with Ronnie about this. We're on the plane to San Francisco, and I had said, I got to do that. It looks like so much fun. It'll be fun to convey what it's like out there, right? So we're on the plane, and I go talk to Greg Picker, who uh, was behind me, I believe. I said, Greg, I've got this idea. I think we should go out and, and do this. And um, I don't know where to begin, though. And, and Ronnie's like, oh, I know the guy that does the kayaks. Here's his number. I'm like, come on. And I call the guy. and Oh, yeah, sure, Ronnie. I got the kayak all set for you. How do you know the kayak guy? I'm like, I mean, that's that's Ron Darling. I'm a water guy. He is. There you go. There's my head. It's very I know I have a big head, but that's really big. Much more.